Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm bringing you an Uber's battle against a guy named Shay. Yes, yes, it's an Uber's battle. My, yes, yes, it's a, my opponent is named Shady Six One Two One, and I met him through Small On. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Anyway, uh, the reason I'm talking like this is because someone is teething. Someone is getting his first teeth, and he's not so happy about it. Yet, but the thing is, that for some reason. When I try to narrate this battle, he tends to get super calm. I don't know why that is. Anyway, um, the six Pokemon that are on my team, none of them are new. These are all Pokemon that I've made for previous Ubers teams. I did not want to make any new Ubers Pokemon. I was feeling lazy. But this team has actually done pretty well on Showdown. Yes, it has. So anyway, this is Gondwana. This is my Groudon now given a red, red orb. And so now it's Primal Groudon. Primal Groudon! Yes! So I was just thinking that he would want to switch out his Rayquaza because it can't really do much to me. He goes for a Dragon Dance. He's trying to set up on me. Yes, he is. That's okay, though. That's really okay because I'm a physical wall and I can take a plus one Earthquake. Yes, I can. I can take a plus one anything from this guy. He goes ahead and hits me with an earthquake. And I'm not worried. Sorry, a crit. I was going to survive that. He shows me his life orb, which means he's not even focused. Size, which means the Stone Age would so should have killed, but it missed. Oh no, the Stone Age missed. Oh no. Oh no. Now I'm dead to an extreme speed. And I don't have anything else for this, uh, for this Rayquaza. No, I don't. No, I don't. Now, the, my only hope is... I just don't know what to do. I go into my Arceus Ghost type, which is a very worthless Pokemon on this team. It does not do well on this team at all. So notice that someone's not fussing right now. It's because I'm narrating this battle, and he gets super calm when I narrate this battle. So Arceus is down, but now his defenses are lowered, and I am hoping against hope. I am hoping against hope that with after all that recoil, that when I send out Rico, my scissor, which is a Mega Scissor. Yes, it is. Look at it. Mega Evolve. It's Mega Evolving. Oh, it Mega Evolved. Yes, it did. And I'm hoping that our Bullet Punch should be able to kill it. I'm hoping it does. I actually run the calcs and see that it won't. But I was hoping maybe. I don't know. Anyway, he goes for a Dragon Ascent. And I'm hoping I can survive. But I don't. No. Even though it's a resistant hit at plus one. It's still going to take me up. Because that's how amazing Rayquaza is. Scissor goes down, and now I just, and he doesn't even, I was at least hoping it would get him into the range that the life orb recoil would kill him, but it didn't. I send out Wash, and I don't know why he didn't go for the extreme speed. He must have not realized I was scarfed. Very few shamans in Gen 6 Auras are scarfed, but I think it's an amazing set. So he now goes out into a Sharpedo, and I am, uh, and you know, I have lost three of my Pokemon. I do not see how I will win this battle because I've lost three very important Pokemon. Yes, I have. So, he goes ahead and protects with Sharpedo, but I am Scarfed, and Shaman Speed is so trollingly high that I will still outspeed them this next turn and go for an Air Slash, and because Sharpedo's defenses are so low, I take him out. I'm not sure why he would go on a Sharpedo versus Lugia. It was obvious that I was Scarfed, and Lugia walls my Shaman for days and days and days. Now he goes out into his Groudon. It is obviously a Primal Groudon. No one runs non-Primal Groudon in Gen 6 Auras. Nobody. Nobody. You would have to be a baby to no run a non-Red uh, Orb Groudon in Auras. Yes, you would. Now, Kyogre is another story. Kyogre still, because of Water Spout, is still viable with the Choice Scarf. Anyway. I see that Air Slash is a three hit KO, and I get that first flinch, so I'm like, come on, let's get another Finchy Finchy, another Finchy Finchy. No, I don't get it, and he's going to take me out with a fire punch. Oh no! Wash, my leaf on the wind is down, is down, but that's okay, because now its health is low enough that I can go out into my Deoxys, which was originally made, I think, for Gen 4, and I'll be able to take him out. With an Ice Beam, I won't even have to resort to uh, Psycho Boost. It is a mixed set, and I love this set. I love this Deoxys set. Not as much as I love you, but I do love this Deoxys set. Yes, I do. And so the sun fades right here. And, uh, because you died. And, uh, I go, oh, no, didn't die. Didn't die. I just went to sleep. It's okay. It's okay. He goes down into his Kyogre. And if he's Scarfed, I might be screwed. But he's not Scarfed. Actually, I outspeed, I think, all, uh... All Scarf 90s. I can't remember whether it's just modest 90s or whether it's 
to mid 90s as well. Anyway, he shows me that he is primal Kyogre. Wasn't that animation cool? Wasn't that animation cool? Oh no, it is a screen time. Screen time is bad for babies, but that's okay. I won't tell mommy if you won't. Anyway, I go for a psycho boost. And, yeah, actually, Mommy would be okay with this because she'd be like, whatever works, keeping him calm. So, anyway, she, unfortunately, I do not take him out with a Psycho Boost. I wouldn't have been able to without a crit, and that's, that's too bad. But I, and, uh, I get him down really low. He takes me out with a Thunder, with a Thunder, and now Xerneas is my last. And I do some calcs here and see that there's about a 50% chance that I can take an Origin Pulse. But it doesn't matter because it misses anyway! So that totally balances out the Stone Edge miss from before. And now I go Geomancy, and I look at his team, and I think, oh, there's a chance I could still win this! There's a chance I could still win this! So, uh, because now I'm at plus two speed, plus two special defense, and plus two special attack! Plus two special attack, that's right! Xerneas now goes for the Moon Blast! The Moon Blast! It takes out Kyogre, but a Neo attack would take out Kyogre. A Light Wind would have taken out Kyogre at that range. Uh, the Heavy Rain lifts. And he's going to go out now into his Lugia. And now that its um, multi-scale is broken, Thunder is a guaranteed one-hit KO as long as it doesn't miss. And it doesn't miss. It doesn't miss even a little bit. And I take out Lugia. I take out Lugia. And it's down. And now he's down to his last Pokemon, which is Mewtwo. And ain't no Mewtwo going to be taken out this Xerneas. No siri, no how, no way. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess even if it were Scarf, I think I would still outspeed. He shows me that he's Mewtwo X. I don't know why you would Mega Evolve as Mewtwo X. There's a... I don't... I mean, there's not a chance he could have survived anyway. But this way, my Boon Blast is a super effective hit rather than a neutral hit. So, very strange move right there. But I managed to take out his Mewtwo. And somehow, somehow, even with his Rayquaza completely destroying the first half of my team, I managed to win the match. Yay! 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 Anyway, folks, that was the battle. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. I'll see you folks later. Good night.